Brother is calling officer, there's an alarm at the door. <laughs> Brother is calling Sir Deacon, there's a certain the cause of the alarm. As our honor and pleasure, we hope that you will find both honor and profit in your fellowship. Brother is calling Marshal, you will escort that we could have spoken a seat to the east.
they live lives where they are the ideals and are by examples of loyal and effective. Each one of you has a particular duty and a special activity has been assigned to you. I charge you to be diligent and faithful in the discharge of this duty so that this chapter will succeed in serving God, country, and mankind, and so that the members of this chapter will see in you an example worthy of imitation. Now, a brother Mason once said, this is Henry Ford, and uh, this drives now with the theme that we have. The theme there is the essence of fun and acting as one as a chapter. Sabi ni Henry Ford, coming together is a beginning. So when we come together here, especially during the first part, and even during the institution of this order, that is already a beginning of something to look forward to. Keeping together is progress. And lastly, working together is success. Do you promise to follow the footsteps of Jack's English in service and duty, Commander? Yes. I do. Do you promise upon your honor as a demolator you will demand which members in living high respect for parents and deference to women? I do. Do you promise that you will aid your brothers with greater realizations to our duties to our beloved country and always bear the reputation and character of good citizens? I do. Do you promise that you will aid the distress and wary and never permit a brother to go in need? I do. Do you promise that you will obey the statutes and order of the Supreme Council, Order of the Himalayas, Republic of the Philippines? I do. Do you promise that you will, at all times, provide for the observance of any obligatory day falling within your term of office? I do. Do you promise that you will never permit a meeting to close without a word of prayer for your mother, your father, and your country's welfare? I do. Do you promise that you will? Do you now uphold that you will, do you now promise that you will uphold the public schools to be a bulwark of our citizenship? I do. In the name of and under the authority of the Supreme Council, Order of the Malay, Republic of the Philippines, and by the direction of the studying officer, I declare the officers of Seraphine B. Aguilar, chapter number 10, Order of the Malay, duly and regularly installed.